the 1961 Ferrari 250 GT California. Less than 100 were made. Ferrari is one of the world's most recognized automakers. Its name conjures images of race cars, high-performance road vehicles, and a level of affluence reserved only for elite automotive connoisseurs. More than you can afford, pal. Ferrari. However, the origins of this prestigious car company are rooted in the humble beginnings of its founder, Enzo Anselmo Giuseppe Maria Ferrari. Enzo Ferrari was born on February 18, 1898 in Modena. At the time of his birth, Modena was part of the Kingdom of Italy under the purview of King Victor Emmanuel II of Sardinia, who ruled from 1861 to 1946. Enzo was the younger of two children born to Alfredo and Adalgisa Ferrari. His older brother, Alfredo Jr., often went by the nickname Alfredino, Little Alfredo, or simply Dino. It was his father, Alfredo Sr., a metal worker, who introduced a 10-year-old Enzo to racing when he took the boys to the 1908 Circuit di Bologna, an experience that convinced young Enzo that he would become a race car driver. The ascent to racing would not be so simple. The deaths of both his father and brother from the flu in 1916 forced Enzo to grow up quickly. Leaving school, he joined the Italian army in 1917 and shooed mules for the 3rd Alpine Artillery Division. He was honorably discharged after almost dying himself from the flu pandemic in 1918. Afterwards, Enzo tried, unsuccessfully, to get a job with Fiat. He would eventually find work as a test driver for CNM, Construzioni Meccanici Nazionali, in Milan, making his debut as a member of the company's racing team at the 1919 Parma Poggio di Bercetto hill climb, where he finished fourth in his division. The following year, Enzo left CMN to begin his racing career as a driver for Alfa Romeo, and in 1924, Ferrari won his greatest victory, the Copa Acerbo. In 1929, while racing for Alfa, Enzo established the Scuderia Ferrari, or Ferrari Stable, in his hometown of Modena. The Scuderia bought, prepared, and fielded race cars for drivers, many of whom came from the Alfa team, which would eventually make the Scuderia a racing outpost for Alfa Romeo. Some of these early Alfa Romeo race cars sported the Cavallino Rampante, or Prancing Horse, an emblem that is today synonymous with the Ferrari brand, but at the time simply represented the Scuderia. Enzo himself has credited the use of the Prancing Horse to the famed World War I pilot Francesco Baracca, who wore the emblem on his plane. It was Baracca's parents, whom Enzo met after winning the Circuito del Sabio in 1923, that had suggested to Enzo that he should include the stallion on his race cars for good luck. Enzo agreed, adding a yellow backing, a color associated with Modena, and the shield appeared on the cars at the 1932 Spa Grand Prix where the two cars entered took first and second place. In 1932, Enzo had his first son, who he named after his father, Alfredo, and who was also nicknamed Dino. Having vowed to stop racing cars if he ever became a father, Enzo retired from racing at the end of 1931 and instead decided to focus on the management of the Scuderia. However, in 1933, due to financial difficulty, Alfa Romeo withdrew from racing, leaving the Scuderia as the unofficial racing team. However, in 1937, after deciding to re-enter racing, Alfa Romeo began buying shares in the Scuderia Ferrari. Hey, come in, come in, come in. No. South Dakota, April of 142! Which it intended to absorb and move to Milan in order to establish the company's racing division, Alfa Corsa. In 1938, Enzo Ferrari was appointed head of Alfa Corsa, but disagreeing with Alfa Romeo's changes, he decided to leave in 1939 to build his own race cars. However, part of his agreement to sever ties with Alfa Romeo forbade him from using his own name and the name Scuderia Ferrari on his cars for a period of four years. With an abrupt end to automotive racing due to the onset of World War II, Enzo established the Auto Avio Construzioni, a machinery workshop located in the Scuderia's old headquarters in Modena. In the same year, AAC was commissioned to build and prepare two racing cars for Lotario Rangoni, Marquina Modena, and Alberto Ascari to drive in the 1940 Brescia Grand Prix. The race cars were designed by former Alfa engineers Alberto Massimino, Vittorio Bellantani, and Enrico Nardi, and powered by Fiat-based 1500cc eight-cylinder engines. They went by the name AAC Tipo 815. 
Thanks for watching part one of our deep dive into Ferrari. To see part two, be sure to click subscribe, comment, and like this video.